So let's just begin this off by saying thank you guys for uh, liking the content, the channel's growing, uh, subbing and everything. This giant fat hamster really appreciates it. Uh, and again, if you're new and you appreciate this content, smash the like and the sub button because this fat hamster needs an army, right? Because one hamster is cute, but many are deadly cute. So um, let's just begin this off by opening a terminal. And uh, so it's kind of funny because I use DWM and it may not align with the philosophy the the fact that I use nano as my text editor so let me just open my uh, bash rc file so you guys can see so this is how nano is uh, minus the line count also the line uh, numbering here when you install it by default right because there is no configuration the configuration is empty so we can actually cr create a configuration that um, allows for syntax highlighting so it'll look prettier right not prettier but it's easier to identify uh, code so right now this is all plain text right so it's really hard to see well it's not so hard to see but it's a definitely a lot easier especially if you begin programming uh, it's a lot easier if you have um, say, uh, syntax highlighting so I'll show you how to do that right now how to add it to nano so first you have to install <clears throat> this package called uh, nano syntax highlighting. Am I right there? Yeah, I think I'm right. Okay. So it's super small. It's not even one meg. Uh, so I'll just exit out because I got it. Now, the final thing that we have to do is open our um, wait, let's do a sudo because it's in the root folder so let's go into our uh, slash etc folder and then within here there's a file called nano rc and this is our configuration and you'll always have this um, once you install nano and I recommend editing the nano rc because uh, in the etc folder because uh, this will do it globally so not just locally you can do it locally but again with me i prefer to do everything globally uh it's up to you how you guys want to do it so uh if we uh go down to line about 234 here there's this uh line here for uh syntax highlighting now they give you different options you can include the specific uh syntax highlighting that you want or you can have um all of the the syntax highlights all in one so you can either have uh one or you can have all of them so for example you can specify html python um bash uh, shell i guess this is what sh is uh, shell scripting um so the one that i personally use is this one here which is all i just include everything all right so let's uh, do a control X to save and if we reopen it we'll see that we have uh, syntax highlighting here so and what it does is that it just changes the color and it um, highlights uh, the the code and it and it let me just show you guys because I can't describe this <laughs> so you see uh, certain key elements within the syntax have different colors so it helps you identify like oh this is an if statement here this is an assignment statement here right um, this is a conditional thing right so uh, syntax highlighting is, is easier on the eyes and it also helps beginners I think because um, when you first dive into coding you don't uh, have the ability to really navigate through a giant wall of text right I mean, even even after you're experienced, it's still a bad experience if you um, have to go through and see a huge document and it's all just you know black and white, um, black text on like a, a, a white background or you know the opposite, whatever. It'll just be easier for you if you have it like this. So that's pretty much it for this one. Again, 
If you find the content useful, please like and sub. The Fat Fluffy Hamster will never forget such kindness.